Hey guys, we are going to talk about the generic story and I have seen multiple times that people are afraid to use it. So let's see what I have done here is I have created a names that is a list of a string and ID that is list of integer. And I am consuming this list inside two different methods. Okay. And what is happening inside method? So I am converting the list into a smaller batches because I want to maintain the performance of the API. Let's run this code and see what you are getting in the batch. Okay. So where the list is having size five, you will get two batch three and two. And for seven, you will be getting three batches three, three and one. Right. So that's well and good. Now guys if you see we are using the common logic in both the methods to convert the list into batches at one place we are using the list of a string other place i am using the list of integers so why can't we create a new private method and use the generics which will be common for both the methods so let's write the method so private static and the return type is going to be list of list right so you can write i numerable of i numerable and you can take the generic type which is t and let's take the method name as git batches inside angular bracket you can again pass t so let's take the parameter so parameter is going to be i numerable of t which is type parameter and uh, this is going to be the list so it will accept any kind of list be it's in teaser or a string let's copy the logic uh, from the main method and replace ids with list and if you see it, we are getting error with the batch size because we have not passed the batch size parameter so let's take the second parameter as int batch size and this batch size we are going to pass from the method calling okay now let's return the batches now we can call this method from both the places okay so let's uh, call this method from the second method so get batches inside angular bracket you need to pass the type so type is going to be in teaser okay and then you need to pass the parameter so parameter is ids comma batch size okay so that should do the work now let's uh, replace this in first method as well so let's go to the first method and let's uh, replace the parameter so we need to pass the names as well as the type so it should be string here right so this is pretty much done so this is guys how you can use the generics in c sharp